This guy just shows up at the house with a whole lot of concrete. Flip on the work boots. Yeah. It's time to get some stuff done. We're finishing all this today? Yes, sir. We have to. Wow. This right here is going to be, drum roll please. Hey. What is going on, Kafaros? Welcome back to another video. We're here, of course, with video number two of this pond build. If you didn't watch the first video, let me get you caught at the speed. Start off with nothing right in this location. Slowly built the frame out, put our rebar inside, actually installed a window as well. That's where the window is gonna be. And then as well as another wall on the inside as an inside frame. Now that leaves us to literally where we are right now. If you didn't watch the video, it's probably a lot better off to go watch that video and then come back here. Here's the pop-up banner right there at the top. Click that, then come back and watch this. The inside frame is done though, and all you gotta do is now pour the concrete inside here. Although pouring the concrete's a lot heavier of a task, isn't it, Hector? Not when you got guns like that though. I'll tell you that, he'll be getting it done pretty quick. The frame is done, as you can see, boom. Big old pond, there's the window down in there. The concrete's just gonna kind of mold itself around that, and uh, yeah. I think we're ready to go with a whole lot of concrete. Four pallets, four pallets of concrete. That is just crazy to see how much there is. So they're just taking all the tops off so you can just easily pour straight into this machine that we rented this morning. I met Hector there at like 7.30 in the morning. That is early for me. But this is where they're gonna be mixing the concrete inside here and then they'll simply just roll that probably uphill. I'm not sure five gallon buckets or something to get it up and into here. Now, I don't know how they're gonna get this hot. Hector, how do you plan to get the concrete up into that? We have to use the bucket, five gallon bucket. The GOAT, the greatest of all time. This squad is unbeatable. Lots of concrete though, guys, and it's gonna be a lot of uh, mix, pour. Mix, pour. But of course, you know, we always make it entertaining and it won't be boring to watch. Although, man, it's raining, Hector. What are you gonna do with all this concrete right here? It's raining. A little bit. Only a little? Yeah. All right. Let me put my work boots. Slip on the work boots. Yeah. It's time to get some stuff done. We're finishing all this today? Yes, sir. We have to. Wow. So in just three days, you created this whole pond. Literally in three days, this whole entire pond was done, which is crazy. I mean, the frame is built, the concrete is poured. Now, of course, I'm gonna let it sit for a good amount of time, and then we gotta do the rock on the outside, the filtration, the UV, and all the extra stuff that we're gonna do. It is crazy how fast it came together. Within a week, it should be like fully done. I did also make the purchase of the pond armor with the same paint we used to paint the saltwater pond that we first built. That same paint, two buckets of that. Once the frame is taken off, then we will paint the whole pond, the inside of it blue. We also gotta get a window too. We have a lot to do. Oh, keep in mind, we have a whole nother pallet on the back of the truck. There's a lot of concrete. You know, now that I think about it, if this video doesn't go live the day after, I was trying to do every other day uploads until the pond was done, but if I realistically think about it, I'm filming these videos as I'm uploading them. They're not pre-filmed and pre-edited and stuff like that, so there's no way that you'll see this video like the next day. I'm gonna have to make sure to let you guys know that the concrete's still drying. Hector, how many days do we let this sit once it's done? One week. A week. So, nice and tasty, huh? His energy drinks have to come after noon, but they're getting energy drinks today, that's for sure. Into the bucket. Oh, ho, ho. the first bucket. Oh my goodness. The first bucket is in. Wow. Wow. And that right there, folks, is three buckets of concrete that probably filled up that much of the bottom left corner of the pond. These guys have a long day ahead of them. They're gonna try to get it all done today, which is incredible. And I couldn't be more grateful to have this team on my side. I mean, these guys work their butts off. I'm sure we're gonna have quite the concrete mess on the floor over here, and maybe even on the wall somewhere. We're gonna have a little bit of cleaning up to do after this, for sure. Hand pouring this might not have been the most efficient way, but it was definitely the most affordable way for myself. So like I said, there'd be a whole lot of mixing like this, and a whole lot of pouring like that. But let's get to filling the concrete up this whole entire wall. Five foot and change, just straight concrete. <laughs> Now around the entire pond, hours later, it has been like four hours. The pond is concreted, not to the 
very top yet, but I think around pretty much all of the edges. They got a couple more bags out there. It's the same process, so they're doing the same exact thing. You know, the mix, the pour, mix the pour, mix the pour, mix the pour. And essentially this pond is going to be fully ready to start drying by the end of today. As you can see right here is how it's all gonna look at the very top. It'll all be flat, just like that, right at the top, and then all the way down, of course, too. But it looks like we have some more to go in the back over there, and of course, a little bit in the front, too. Once it is all this high, that will be fully set and ready to wait for it to dry. That is so much concrete. Oh, yeah. And over here, it's almost, you can see it, it's almost, it's right there. It's almost to the top. They do have enough concrete, too, because they already have some right here on the first three pallets. And then there's also a whole nother pallet right on the back of the truck. Yummy, it's like cereal. <laughs> what do you think, Hector? We almost finished, amigo. Almost finished? Yeah. The cleanup's almost just as much as work. Like, holy smokes. Okay. Four. I need to get sponsored by Home Depot. That'd be nice. Free concrete. There are buckets in the whole video. Does that count? Oh, yeah. Don't you worry, Hector. The energy drinks are on their way. Okie dokie. It'll keep them flowing. Okay. All right, energy drinks have arrived for the boys. Hector! Yes, señor. Energy drinks. Thank you, amigo. And like I said, I don't want to board you. A little bit more mixing and pouring and mixing and pouring. And this pond will be fully to the top with concrete. Let me show you what we're looking like three days later. Come on, man. Wanna go out? It is beautiful outside. I mean, it's like 55, 60 degrees. I need to put a hoodie on, if anything, but we're gonna have a really, really cold week, so I'm gonna have to make sure I get all my little baby turtles that are in here and get those inside and stuff like that. It's gonna be a cold one. The goat enclosure, it's completely flooded. Thankfully, why is my brightness so bright? Exactly the reason we built this goat house up on stilts like this, because as you can see, the goats could stay dry. Although they think I'm gonna feed right now, so they're down here. You guys already ate breakfast. I also haven't showed the animals in a little bit. For you guys, it's been like a week plus, maybe even longer than that. It is so nice out, the pigs are loving it. Other than, like I said, the rain we got, everything is doing amazing. It's mama. I have the fountain off in here. This pond is looking so good. Look at all the plants. All the plants are growing so much, especially these ones in the back here. I haven't updated you guys on this in a while. It's been, there's been so much going on. It's a one man show over here. There's a lot to show you guys and keep you updated on. Three days later, we're already dry. Now, yes, we're gonna give it a couple more days to really sit and settle before we pull the whole frame off, but check this out. Look at that concrete. Boom! Fully dried. I mean, look how big this thing is. It's massive. That is a gigantic pond. No viewing panel over here. I, I somewhat, slightly, maybe a little bit regret not putting a window on this side. It's not the end of the world. It's not like we're gonna be looking over here. I just like how on this pond we have the one there and then the one over here. We're probably gonna be spending a lot of the time right here since it's right by the front door and we do have a four by two and a half foot window right there. If you listen, listen closely, ready? Hollow, hollow, concrete. Hollow concrete. Thankfully, as you guys saw when we did the build, there's a lot of rebar in here, so this thing is very, very strong. Uh, we had to do that rebar and extra structure because it's gonna be tall. A lot of water, a lot of pressure being pushed. I talked to Hector about this frame on this side. We're gonna actually just leave this. This piece of wood is gonna stay around the whole back. We'll pop this front one off and everything else off. So you won't even notice it, especially once we do a rock wall on the outside. Speaking of which, I love to get you guys' opinion, and I think I have settled on not only what we're going to do in this pond, which is huge news, but also I need your help with what rock we're gonna do on the outside. I personally think we should do gray, it looks like this, but if you guys have any other suggestions, let me know what color rock you think we should do on the outside of this pond, because we're gonna do it the same as this rock wall here, that way it kinda just flows with it. I don't wanna do the same color though, I do want these to be separate projects. I just think that gray, a piece of black wood at the top with the gray would look so, so good, it would pop, with the blue paint in the inside too. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Speaking of what we're gonna do with this pond though, I have came to conclusion, I think it's 
the coolest idea to keep this corner salt water. I wanna put a nice structure in the middle and work on the filtration to keep this water even clearer than it already is. But I'm gonna leave the freshwater fish in there. We'll work on the shark thing soon. Of course, we got a whole 2024 ahead of us. This right here is going to be, your drum roll please, predatory salt water. I know. Crazy news, right? I figured we got the reef right here. Why not right next to the reef? We put this predatory saltwater tank. It's big so we can fit some big fish. Snapper and so much cool stuff that we could do in there. And then right next to it we have the reef that your boys slacking on need to glue these corals. I think I've been saying that for the last like week and a half. It's fine, that'll happen eventually. But this is going to be the predatory saltwater pond. I've came to the conclusion that's what we're doing. I can't believe I just announced it. And I hope you guys can agree with my decision. And we're gonna get some really, really, really cool fish. If you guys remember, I actually put this piece of PVC all the way from the front of my yard all the way to here. So it works out perfectly that I'm making this salt water because guess what? I just put a valve there and a valve with a little elbow and just pull that PVC all the way to here. I could fill this and, and do the same water changes and easy maintenance on this pond because it's on this side of the building. Works out to make this salt water, and I'm gonna rock with it. The concrete is drying, if not dried already. Honestly, probably could pull the frame off, but we're just gonna play it safe and give it a week. Imagine pulling this off, and then all of a sudden it just completely collapses. I just was talking about how I ordered the paint. There's the epoxy pond paint that we will be painting the pond with right here. Well, this is the, this is the epoxy resin. That's the paint. Assuming this is the other one. Speaking of packages though, my goodness. Amazon wishlist has been crazy. Love your videos from Amber. Big shout out to Amber, she got a little bag of seaweed. And shout out to Andrew White as well for getting a punch of seaweed. I'm assuming both Amber and Andrew love the saltwater pond, that's why they got some seaweed to feed everyone. Here's another one. Thanks for being an inspiration. My kids want to be YouTubers. We can get that ball rolling soon. Merry Christmas to you as well, Chris. Thank you so much for everything. And big shout out to the kiddos. They got us a cast net, a cast net right here. Super cool. Never can have enough of these. You all know how much me and Brenton go through cast nets. It's like every video we buy a new one for no reason. So to have a bunch of these on hand, it's great. Look how much we have. Oh my goodness. Some P.O. box stuff. What do we got here? I know I need to add more. There's a lot more than I might need, but I also only want to add things that I use constantly. It's a big help with the food, and that's why I just have a bunch of food on there. So huge shout out to Davisty Joy. Thank you so much for the turtle food. It's going into the box. Cool artwork of the zebra eel. And that is from Tanner. If you guys do want your art hung on the wall, send it on a canvas. The moisture in the building won't allow me to hang paper, so send it on a canvas and I can hang it inside the building, the PO boxes down below in the description. Some marine pellets for the saltwater tank. Big shout out to, oh, Andrew White, again. Hey, Andrew. Oh, some chameleon lights, look at that. Thanks, Cameron, appreciate ya. Sydney got us some fly spray for Lady May and Mango, which we never can have enough of this. I burn through this stuff like water. This is the very first big bag of Missouri pig feed that I've received off the wish list, which is awesome. There's no ticket unless it fell out or something. I'm looking all over, there's none. Whoever got me this, a massive thank you, and I'm so sorry I can't find your name, there's no tag, there's nothing there. I appreciate you though, just know that, thank you so much. The very first bag of pig food we got. This guy just shows up at the house. Yep. Dude. Flew in late last night into Tampa, got a car, drove straight here. You are, <laughs> he's one hell of a friend, huh? Yep, wouldn't miss your birthday for the world. Aww. Thanks, man. It's actually not why I'm here. Uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, what's the video idea you want to do, huh? <laughs> oh, hey, we're, we're going to be here for like seven days. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's a big pond, Dude. Right? Isn't that crazy? Oh, that is nuts. And it's all drying up. We can pop this off, and I got the paint already. Just delivered. Dude, so we, could just we could just start here all the way until Christmas Eve. Oh my goodness. Well, Caferos, that's gonna do. Uh, he just showed up from Texas. I literally had no idea he was coming. He just popped up. Um, and that's where we're at. Pond is drying, should be done any day. Next video, we will be descaling this and probably painting it. So stick along, make sure you subscribe down below, smash the like button. We'll see you right back here in the next one. Right, Jaquan? Yeah. Peace out.